Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to import data from an Excel spreadsheet into LabelMark 6 labeling software. Um, first thing we'll do is just check that we have the printer driver installed. So you do need the Windows printer driver for the printer you want to use. So we're going to use the BMP71. That's there, so that's all correct. So make sure you've installed the Windows printer driver uh, for the printer you're going to use. The cable data, this, this function is useful for cable um, cable data printing. So I'll show you the spreadsheet here. So spreadsheet wants to be nice and simple. One row of headers and then effectively your data for label, the first label is going to start there. That's your first label, that's your second label, that's your third label. If you want two lines of text or three lines or four lines, you need to, to, to create them effectively in different columns. If you don't want, if you just want one line of text on your label, just create one column and just put the, the strings of data in, in one column. Keep your spreadsheet nice and simple. Um, and we're done in there. Start label mark six. If this is the first time you've used label mark six, there are some options here that you need to set. So this is your default options. Click that little cog, that opens up the options tab. Just check you've got the printer set correctly, BMP 71. It's worth setting here while we're in here, the units and sizes that we're using. So we're metric rather than imperial. So just set what you want to work in. And then down here, the default label mode, um, you need to set that. The best setting is, is graphics mode. Just gives you flexibility of where you, you, you position things on labels. If you've made any changes in here, click the save diskette icon, and that'll just save any options that we've set. Um, back to the main label mark screen. Uh, we're using a BMP 71 and it's a smart printer. So if you come down to the, the, the bottom of this left hand pane, the smart printers are shown here. We're using the BMP 71. So we'll click that and label mark will now query with the printer what label is installed. So it's pulled back that data from the printer. We, we've got an M71-31427, which is the correct label. That's a self-lam label, self-laminating cable label. Uh, once we've selected that and created the label, uh, the zoom level is here so we can zoom out and show you the full label. Uh, the way that the self-laminating cable label works, we've got a white area that we're printing onto and then a clear tail to the label. So this is the area we're going to work within. So we can zoom in a bit, a bit more. And to import our data, we do insert external data. We want to use an MS Excel spreadsheet. Could use an access database or some other format of data, but we want to select our source. It's an Excel file onto the desktop. Cable idents is the file. Once we've selected the source or selected the file, which we've done, we do next. Then we just need to tell LabelMark which sheet and which columns we want to pull in. So we want to work with sheet one on the spreadsheet, and we're going to pull in both the first line and the second line of data. And that's the two columns. Here we've got the box tick, which just tells um, label mark to treat the first row on the spreadsheet as a, a header because we don't want to print the headers. We just want to print the data. So we click next. Um, don't worry too much about positioning. You can tweak the position here, uh, but really just click finish. Once the data has come in, then we can click and drag and change the font sizes and stuff here. Um, to center that up on the label, up here you've got center vertically, which we don't really want to do because we've got two rows two lines of text, but we can use that to center horizontally. So that's quite useful. We can change the font size here. So this allows you to, you know, treat each text, each text object separately. So you can set the text sizes differently if you want to. And that is basically it. If we take the zoom level down, just to show you that that we've got label one, label two, label three, and hopefully you can see that the data is, is changing uh, as it should from the spreadsheet. Uh, once we're ready, we can hit print. That opens up the print window. Just check that you're printing to the BMP71 printer if that's the printer that you want to print to. Uh, we can either print all labels or you could select a range of labels. So that's the range of labels is useful if you want to print, say, the first three or four labels. You could set it here to start at one, print, end at three. I want to print all labels. Um, down here, you can either ask for one copy or you could specify two copies. So if you needed two copies of each label, if you're going to label you know, both ends of a cable, that's where you would set it. And that's it. We're done down to the print button, click the print button and away we go. Thanks for watching.